Tonight at Market Hall here in Annan, a mass meeting. And it's an opportunity for workers at Pinney's as well as businesses in the town and the community at large to have their say and to have their voices heard by local politicians as well as members of the Scottish Parliament that we understand are attending. Now, it's been a day of developments. Earlier today, officials from the council, from government and from Scottish Enterprise met with senior management at Young's. Now, they were trying to persuade them to retain at least part of their business here in Annan, but also to scope out the site to see what kind of warehouses and machinery are there in a hope that that information will help them to secure a buyer. It's also been confirmed that the ready meals part of the Young's business that was at Pinney's will move to the Two Sisters factory in Carlisle. Well, joining me now is Katrina Baxter, who has organised the meeting here and is part of the Save Pinney's of Annan campaign. Katrina, why was there a need and a demand for this meeting? Basically, the workers have not been able to have their say so far, so I got in touch with Joan McAlpine and other members of Scottish Parliament and local councillors just to try and make it known that the workers do have to have their say. They've not been able to at the minute. So it's time they came and they shared their views and they need to know exactly what is happening, basically. And what, what are you hoping to achieve here? We just want the, the Scottish Parliament to try and secure as many jobs as possible. And in terms of the town of Annan, how significant and how detrimental could this closure be? Oh, it's very significant. There is no way we can afford to lose 600 jobs. Annan is just such a small town. And if we lose these jobs, it's going to have such a devastating effect on the local community, on a lot of the local businesses and small shops, independent stores. We just can't afford to lose these amount of jobs. Thank you for joining me, Katrina. So a day of developments here in Annan, but it remains a worrying time for the people of the town as there's still no guarantees over the future of the Pinney's factory.